everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Becca and today is a lovely evening. I'm wearing a little jacket. It's like too hot to be wearing this, so I'm gonna <laughs> remove it. But yeah, I am out in the garden. We're starting another garden vlog and we're getting into the season where the, what are those things called? I was gonna say quesadillas, <laughs> cicadas. <laughs> Uh, we're getting into the time of the year where the cicadas are coming out. I can hear them in the woods like every once in a while and actually I found one like around my space and I was like ew. Anyway, welcome back. We are in the garden right now and I've got some like updates that are not things I filmed. So first of all, I went out this morning. Well, okay, first of all, first of all, before the first of all, Daniel and I have his nephews down for the week because, you know, it's summertime, why not? And so they're here helping us around the house and just like in general hanging out with us. We have a few tasks that we're supposed to get done every day. So today it was very, very hot. So we didn't do a ton, but we came out to the garden. We went to the garden center, we picked up some soil i grabbed 12 bags of like worm casting soil and the just natural brand i, I really like their soil and i like that it i don't think it contains peat moss or if it does it's not that much but like a lot of the garden soils had like mostly peat moss like it was like 100 okay I... you guys it is july 11th this is really annoying to exist next to neighbors that are like that Anyway, <laughs> this has been happening since May. Basically, they've been lighting off fireworks and explosions and shooting whatever since May. And I'm tired of the sounds. Anyway, we went out to the store and we got um, a bunch of bags of soil and I filled up the boxes again. Like I added it on top and um, just as a top layer to the soil that we added on before because yeah, the soil is just really bad and I've talked about that several times, like how bad it is. Like it literally is just clay soil and it, I, it was sold to me as compost. I don't know if there was a miscommunication or like they delivered the wrong thing. I haven't, or if their compost really is just that bad. Like I heard mixed reviews, but last year their compost was fine. So, and I didn't have any issues really, so I have no idea if it was a bad batch or if they literally just dropped off topsoil, but it's like a lot darker than topsoil. So I feel like this is their compost, but it's not good this year or I don't know. So I'm complaining a lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is supposed to be a positive update. <laughs> so we came out and we um, amended the soil. We added just on top, like I just, I thought about mixing it in and I might still do that. I might wait for a good rain before I do that to like loosen up the bottom part because it is like very, very, um, topsoily it's just very clay based like I don't know it just does not it's not fluffy compost so what I added on top is definitely fluffy compost it looks so much better already as you can see there's like a dark color in the beds before they were like the same color as the beds themselves like it was not good so I did that and while I did that the boys there's four of them here they picked up all of the weeds in the garden and when i tell you that it would have taken me a month or longer to do the work that they did in 45 minutes because like i don't know they were moving so fast and there was four of them so that's eight hands pulling weeds rather than just two and so while they did that i was able to amend the soil and then i also did a few other things so i need to pick you up now and i'm going to show you what i did i almost wish that i filmed it but also like i don't want to film them because I don't know if they want to be on my channel. Uh, filming was a secondary thought because it was also just like very, very hot. But okay, here is what I did today. <laughs> so I brought back this tomato cage and I need to like cut off these extra pieces on the ends. Uh, last year I didn't get to that. Like I think I constructed it in a different way last year but I don't need it to be as big as it was last year. So I need to come out with some more wire. I need to figure something out like with the sizing, but I don't want these to come like be sticking out because I feel like that's a hazard. This is a Roma tomato and we have like a lot of tomatoes going on. I'm super excited. The last time you guys saw this bed, it was just like a mush of tomatoes and that doesn't allow for like very good airflow. And I definitely probably should do some pruning on these, but I don't really know where to prune on a tomato. So I need to do some research um, so that they can like live optimally. 
but this one is my big uh big rainbow tomatoes and it's not looking very good although we do have like a little something like we have some flowers so maybe it'll grow but it's just not doing very well comparatively like these are like bushes and this is not so <laughs> yeah i need to figure out like how to make it happy if it's gonna pull through but at the very least we've got lots of roma tomatoes and i'm excited like i might try to make some pasta sauce and stuff because i think i'm gonna have a lot because that's an entire Roma, and that's an entire Roma. And I have probably like 30 tomatoes between the two of these just on there. And then the second thing I did was I have a bunch of, well not a bunch, but I have like a few cattle panels left over from when I did the outside fence because this is actually just like cattle panel. And I bought 16 foot pieces and we like had to cut them in a few different places because they wouldn't fit in my truck otherwise, which was a whole thing. And I finally decided to just make a trellis for this watermelon. And I tried to move this watermelon, but it did not transplant very well. As you can see, like that's, that's gonna die. But I do have three watermelon plants that are still with me. I didn't have to transplant these ones. I planted probably five of them. So my direct sow seedlings did not perform very well this year. And I 100% think that's because of the soil. Like I had three out of five come up and last year all five would have come up like no problem. So it, soil is so essential and I'm really upset that this happened to me because I really feel like it has made the garden not what it could have been. But you know, it's only up from here. <laughs> it's only up from here. So anyway, I'm training this up and I just think it is so cute. And I feel like this would be a really good like um, winter hoop situation. Like I kind of didn't think about that as an option. I have these hoop things, which I used um, last fall for fall gardening. And I feel like you don't even need to buy these. I think they're kind of expensive. They're from Garden Supply or Gardener.com or something like that. They're cool and stuff, but I feel like these are a lot more secure because you can, there's like so many places to clip like the garden, like the landscape fabric. And I just, I don't know, I feel like this is gonna be way better. So I might go get some more and uh, like do a lot of fall planting this year. I, I definitely need to do fall planting to make up for the summer being sort of a wash. I mean, it's not a total wash, but you know what I mean. Okay, so these are more cherry tomatoes. I didn't do anything to these. Um, and I really need to harvest this and like make pesto. Like I need to, hold me to it, please. Somebody send me a recipe. <laughs> um, and then I don't think I did anything else really out here, but this is my cantaloupe. It's looking so good. And I brought out seeds cause I'm gonna plant, I think some like bush beans in here. Actually, I need to look and make sure that, they, that those two can be planted together because I try to stick to companion planting because I don't like to do a ton of pest control and I don't wanna plant something here that's gonna do like, that's gonna attract the same type of pest. I don't know but anyway they, the leaves look so beautiful and I forgot how cute this plant is when it doesn't have powdery mildew <laughs> because mine last year got powdery mildew at the end of the season and I just kind of like let it run its course but this year I'm trying to be more mindful about watering underneath the leaf canopy and it seems to be doing great like I'm not seeing anything in here and then gosh oh this area finally got cleared out there was, okay, I don't know where I cut off, but I had to go get another battery. <laughs> so this is my peas, my, what are these? Sugar snap peas. And I knew that I planted these not in the right time of year. So I wasn't really expecting these to do anything just because they, I don't think they really like the heat. But this one, this specific plant, I planted them all along the edge here. And the ones in the middle are doing the best. So we got that one and we've got this one. And the ones on the outside, oh, this one right here, if you can even see it, is doing pretty okay as well. My mother-in-law dropped off the boys, so when she was here, she pointed out that this was sprouting a bean, because I was telling her about the garden, like I walked around the garden and I was telling her what's growing, and I was like, yeah, these aren't doing very well, and she's like, wait, that's those are beans that are like sprouting. And um, my camera's having a really hard time focusing on this and not the crusty pole in the back but anyway yeah so we will be having some sugar snap peas even if it's like three or four of them 
Um, I'm still excited. It's gonna be really good. These are like my favorite types of peas, but I am gonna plant some more bush, bush beans so that I can have some more like green beans because I love green beans. Just anything like that. Ooh. It has been a while since I've looked at my strawberries and we have something going on here. This is a sad strawberry plant. Um, it has not gotten the energy or the, uh, what is it? Attention that it deserves. It really hasn't. I'm not very good at strawberries. Well, I can't say I'm not very good at strawberries because I haven't really tried. This is my first time. I don't know, maybe it's getting too much sun because like, look how pink those leaves are. Maybe it doesn't need full sun. I don't know, if you guys have any tips for growing strawberries, let me know and I will try to be better for her. If I can, I don't know. I don't know if this plant's gonna do much for me. <laughs> I'm not opposed to going and getting another one. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say over here. I have been just helping train this up because um, it doesn't exactly choose to do it on its own. Like it definitely puts out a lot of runner tendrils, but it does do it on its own sometimes, but I feel like it just takes longer. So there's nothing wrong with like just coming up and gently, oh my gosh, that just gripped on by itself. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna focus on it, but this little arm just grabbed on on its own. That's crazy. Like I, I let it up and then it like wrapped itself around. Absolutely nuts. Okay, secret life of plants, I guess. I'm feeling much more optimistic about this situation. I think that we're gonna be okay. So now that you've been given the update on what we did today or what I did today slash me and the kids did today, I'm going to plant the seeds and um, I don't know how this is gonna go. It, it could be a waste. It could be a waste. But there's so many open spots in here and I want to just like plant flowers and um, things that will probably do okay as a late summer crop. And I have all of my pumpkins to still plant, which I am still kind of set on doing a pumpkin alley between the garden and the greenhouse. I just need to rent a cultivator. And so I don't know how that's gonna go. Um, they're, they're usually gas powered and like gas powered things kind of scare me. But I don't know, there's a local place in Columbia that rents out gear like that, like tools. We rented our auger from there, like when we built, uh, when we, uh, built the garden fence and like dug the fence holes fence post holes. I didn't really plant any herbs in the garden. I definitely planned on it, but I just didn't. So I'm just gonna direct sow some stuff just to see. I don't know. People might comment and be like, that was a total waste of your time and energy, but what if it's not? I don't know. We'll see. Where should I put the rosemary? I feel like I should put the rosemary in like in this bed with the broccoli because that broccoli is, mm, struggling it, it has uh caterpillars and somebody from my last video told me what they were which was super helpful a few people told me so thank you for that because now i know what i'm battling with and i can spray them and hopefully get a hand on that okay i've got some snapdragons i feel like i don't know why not these are the dwarf snapdragons but i also have the big snapdragons but i don't know if there's any seeds left in here i <sighs> I was silly and I didn't wrap up all of the seeds before I put them away and now I have loose seeds in here and I don't know what they are. I lost a box of my seeds and I don't know where they are. So literally all I have out here is rosemary and snapdragons that I can plant right now. I found the other seeds. We are almost out of sun. It's almost 9 p.m. and it's crazy that the sun is still out. Um, anyway, I found some marigold seeds that my friend gave me years ago. So we'll see if they're still good. If not, I have these, like just a few left. These are the ones that I planted last year and they're really, really big, like they get huge. And then I have this Italian parsley from RT1 Home from years ago. I don't know if it'll make anything, but yeah, I'll Google quickly which one that would go well with. And then I found this container. And I can't find any of my squash, which really stinks because I wanted to plant my squash this week, which is late, I know, but I don't know. So I'm gonna plant these bush beans. I grew these last year and I wasn't even sure, I wasn't sure when to harvest them, so I just never did. And they were definitely like growing, like big beans. And I just had no idea when to harvest them. I was just being silly, like not looking it up. Um, 
Don't need to plant any more cantaloupe. These are the sugar snap peas. I have so many of these seeds left, if you can see. So that's really nice. I'll probably plant more this winter, I think. Yeah, they're definitely a winter crop. Like it says here to plant them between February and April for my zone, so. I'm shocked that they're like doing okay. We have the birdhouse gourd, which I'm not gonna plant tonight, but I am going to be planting that. And then, gosh, is there anything else? Yeah, that's all I wanted to plant. So we're gonna get to it really quickly and just get that done and it'll be fine. <laughs> Welcome back to the day two of this garden vlog. So none of those seedlings have come up yet and I don't think that I'll have an update in this video for that, but I will update you as soon as something happens. The soil temperature is definitely up there. So I feel like germination in that good soil is very likely. So we'll just have to see. I feel like we have a lot of 100 degree days coming up and I just don't know if like those young plants are going to be able to handle it. So that's my main concern right now. But um, I think I'm gonna go out to the store and I'm going to buy some cucumber plants if I can, some cucumber starts, because ideally this would all be cucumbers, which by the way, I installed this second cattle panel here. I don't know if I mentioned that one. I think I probably did. So I did another one over here because I realized I needed something for the, um, cucumber and oh look it's already attached on its own check it out that is awesome i needed something to attach this up something to climb and i was going to build something but again realized what the heck i have cattle panels why would i ever do that <laughs> and i think while i'm at the garden center i'm going to grab soil to put in these um corner boxes and since i'm out here and things are cleared out a lot i might actually build the other two corner boxes i'm not quite sure i kind of just want to like do like random bits and bobs in here since i have the free time and the nephews are with daniel cutting down trees like by the barn and stuff so they're busy doing other things so i'm just kind of like on my own today working outside because i pretty much like blocked off my work week to be able to be doing projects like i batched all my filming earlier and my editing and all of that but do you guys remember a few garden vlogs ago when I mentioned that there is a bird who is building a nest on my windowsill? And um, I think somebody mentioned that swallows or sparrows, I think it was a swallow, I'm not, I'm not very good with birds, but they mentioned that that type of a bird makes nests on like the tiniest ledge and there is a full on nest and it makes me very happy to see it. It's very cute. It's like lots of mud and like grass and stuff like that. But let me show you what it looks like. I mean, you really can't see it. Like it's not a good spot in the first place to really be looking because it's kind of in the shade and it's all dark over here. But there are baby birds in it. I saw one poking its head out yesterday. It was really cute. <laughs> and I just love knowing that there are baby birds being born on our property. It just makes me happy to know. Um, I love like living in sync with nature. It just makes me happy. But anyway, I'm gonna go out to the store and I'm gonna see what I can find as far as veggie starts for cucumbers. Fingers crossed, there is something. And I also need to drop off our lawnmower blades at a place to get them sharpened. My mic was not on. Okay. <laughs> what I've been saying this entire time is I finally filled up these beds. And um, this one is pretty good on soil level. That one over there is probably gonna need another bag. And then I'm probably gonna have to reinforce the outside edges that are like towards the outside of the garden. Anyway, I'm only gonna be planting two seeds each probably because the I'm expecting these to germinate no problem, especially in good soil. And um, a lot of these say that you can germinate or you can sow them until June and July. Uh, the squash says July, this says June, and so does this one, but I think it'll be totally fine. So 
someone told me last year that this was wild or like native milkweed and I feel like that is confirmed this year. These flowers look very much like milkweed, but I don't see any monarchs or anything. Last year I did see some monarch caterpillars, but I don't see that this year. I'm just seeing like a bunch of like little tiny beetles, but it's really cute. And Daniel tried to rip it up, but I was like, don't. It looks kind of cute there, but we need to be aware because vines, um, there was vines planted along here before, and I'm assuming that they're gonna try to come back with vengeance, as you can see, <laughs> and as you can see. So this is probably gonna have to be taken care of pretty soon, but I just like don't like ripping up plants. I really like the way that it looks. Like I feel like it's cute, but at the same time, it could very easily like completely get out of control. So just trying to be mindful of that. Um, okay, I am going to clean up this because this has been sitting here for a really long time and it's just like a bunch of leftover stuff from building and it needs to get, it needs a new home. <laughs> and I also want to bring the leaf blower in here and blow out all of these leaves because I should have put them in the boxes like in fall when they were falling, but I just didn't get to it so i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna like blow them out now and also as far as like the last two corner boxes i do still have plans to make those but um i don't know maybe in the next week i'll do that and i'm gonna plant this winter squash and then i have a uh, loofah vine that i really want to plant We'll see what happens, but it'll go in uh, this corner as well as the other one. But yeah, I'm just gonna do some cleanup. Now that all the weeds are gone, I feel like I can like focus on beautifying the garden. Whereas before I was just like constantly pulling weeds if I ever had a moment out here. And that is a lot of work and it like takes all your energy. So I'm gonna clean that up and get out the leaf blower. Actually on second thought, I just picked up a little pollinator house that I bought last year. And somebody told me that it like wasn't actually good for pollinators or something. So I never like hung it up. It just like sat on the ground in the garden. And silly me did not realize that, you know, somebody would probably move in. And um, I moved it and I put it in the wheelbarrow and a bunch of wasps flew out of it. And they're all like flying around like what the heck was like, where did our house go? So... Uh, I feel really guilty that number one, I've even created this situation. And number two, I feel guilty that I have ruined this wasp family's house. Not that I like wasps, but I'm an empathetic person. I feel bad. I like completely uprooted their life on accident. So I think I'm just gonna wait for that to die down. <laughs> Cause I don't think it's really safe for me to like be out here while there's angry wasps. Surprisingly enough, they didn't target me or like, find out that it was me that caused the situation for them. So that's good, I'm glad for that. Um, but I'm just gonna take my little butt down to my house and cool down <laughs> and uh, call it a day for the garden. So um, I think that's actually just gonna be the end of this video because after I planted those things, I don't really have anything else to update on, but I did buy some hardware cloth because I'm going to make my composting station because it is just time I need to get that done. So stay tuned for the next vlog where I make a composting station, among other things. I'm gonna also finish this arbor. Um, start this arbor, I don't really know. I haven't done anything with it in a year of having this garden, but I bought some wood today to get it all done. And I found a design online that I really like and feel it, like would be easy. So probably also gonna get that one done. So I will see you in the next vlog. We have plenty to do, um, lots of garden vlogs ahead of us. So see you later, bye.